Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I am using my brand new 2019 planner this week, and I'm super excited about it. This is the sticker kit I'm using. It's another Sabine Elise Designs, and it is her Let It Snow kit. I actually don't think this is one she has in her shop anymore, but she does have a lot of really cute, like, snowy winter kits. And I decided to use this one this week because we had a huge snowstorm where I'm from, and this was just totally the vibe of our entire week here. So the first thing I'm doing is laying down the date headers. What I like to do is crop them down and then I can cut and paste them over and over again. This kit, I mean not kit, this planner is a little different than my 2018 planner and mostly the only difference is the fact that um, it says the date up at the top, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, you know what I mean? Um, so that's one change I made between my 2018 and my 2019 planners was I didn't want to just have like the number date I wanted to actually have the day of the week so I added that as well but I still like using the date covers because I mean they're here so I might as well use them I want to apologize real quick for the glare on the screen. I didn't have my light set up in the way that I normally like to and I didn't think about that until after the fact. So there's kind of a glare on it. Normally I shoot the light like up towards the ceiling so then it just kind of reflects down and I was filming something else and totally forgot to flip the light around. So I mean here we are and that's just the way it's going to be. So the first thing I'm marking on Monday is but first coffee. I'm using a half box and then I'm choosing to use one of my chubbies with a coffee sticker and then if you buy the chubbies coffee like kit or like sticker pack that I offer in my Etsy shop you'll get that script that says but first coffee. So I've been doing that basically every week since the start of my planning. <laughs> and then I'm going through and adding actual things for the week. The first thing I'm marking down is that I do have a bill due on Monday, our electric bill, and then where the amount is, I just like to draw a line because, I mean, I don't care to put the amount on my planner. I don't want you guys to see that, and really, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> if I put down the amount for every single one of my bills on my planner, boy, would I be totally stressed out. <laughs> so next, I'm putting down a little appointment label, and I'm adding that... I have, oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. I totally forgot this is what I added. <laughs> I'm adding that the Honey Bee Shop kit came out, or not kit, but like her box, her sub box. It's her first one for the, like, ever, and I'm so excited, and I was actually able to snag it, so I'm super pumped to be getting that. The Honey Bee Shop is one of my absolute favorite Etsy shops. I've strayed away a lot from stickers and I like never buy them anymore other than what I get from my digital planner but I am so excited to have a regular subscription again. When I first started planning I got the um, Planner Society sticker like sub box and I love that because it was a great way for me to just start with my planning but I quickly found out that that wasn't for me and I'm so glad that the Honeybee Shop is coming out with a sub box because Girl, don't you know I love the Honey Bee Shop. I love like her tattoos and like the edginess of the whole thing. So anyways, sorry, I just went on a crazy rant about the Honey Bee Shop. I just love Shan so much and I love all of the stuff she, she creates. So I ended off Monday by adding a little piece of washi. I had to size it down a little bit, but I got it to fit in that spot just perfectly. And then on Tuesday, I'm marking that it's trash and recycling day. The trash and recycling icon is one that I have um, in my Facebook group as a freebie. So if you head on over to my Digi Danny Co. Facebook group, I have a link for a whole bunch of freebies. I usually try to do a freebie Friday every Friday. So check that out if you're interested in getting started in digital planning because I have some really good freebies on there that are just like staple items that you might need. The next thing I'm doing is this little uh, quarter box as well, and I'm writing down that I have pilot on my work on Tuesdays. Um, basically what that means is that I have to answer the phone on Tuesdays. <laughs> so I'm marking that down and also putting one of my chubbies, the little guy with the laptop computer. It's from like my work package of chubbies, and I love that set. I use the work chubbies literally all the time. 
I'm using another chubby and this is one that I like found I forgot I had it and I think I like it for like marking down appointments and meetings I'm marking down that at work I have a meeting for my app sync and then I'm readjusting everything because I wanted to add a box here or I'm gonna crop it down and kind of use it more like washi but I didn't want it to be at the bottom because the other washi strip that I had on Monday was at the bottom so you know just spicing it up a little bit putting it up at the top that's why digital planning is super amazing because I can just move things around on a whim the first thing I laid down on Wednesday was actually a full box here because I knew I didn't have a whole lot to put down. So I wanted to put down that Let It Snow box. I knew that was the very, very first one that I wanted to use and like be able to use the whole thing because it's the name of the kit and it's just like the vibe of the whole kit. So then I'm putting down this appointment label and a laptop icon. This again is sold in my shop with the work chubbies and I'm marking that I have a cue bust at work. This means that I have to come in or no, everybody else comes in an hour early, but I stay an hour late because I work seven to four versus like everybody else in the office normally works eight to five. So anyways, I have to stay till five. The next thing I am putting down here is another box. I don't know what you call these. Are these quarter boxes? They're not half boxes. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever they are, I'm putting that down. A really pretty baby blue one and another chubby from my shop. This is from the wine time kit and I love the wine. <laughs> I use the wine ones every wine Wednesday. I call my mom on Wednesdays and we just chat and catch up. So then on Thursday, I'm putting down another half box. I wind up using this purple one. I'm trying to like play up the colors so I don't have like a whole bunch of colors right next to each other. Like I, I didn't use light purple on Wednesday, so I'm using it here on Thursday and so on. That's what I like to do. I also like to switch up the shops that I use. I know I've used a lot of my shop in this spread so far, but I do like to use other people's stickers whenever I get the chance. So in here, I'm using these Grumpy Bear stickers. They're from a digital paper that she sells that has like a whole bunch of different icons and I just crop it down. I actually have a tutorial on my YouTube channel about how to make backgrounds transparent since obviously it's a digital paper it doesn't have a transparent background but i show you how you can do that on your ipad and basically make a sticker out of anything you want the next thing i marked on another little quarter box was that i have pilot again on thursdays i didn't want to write it again and i knew i wanted to use the same chubby so i just copied and pasted it from tuesday super simple super easy and that way i can guarantee that it's going to look really nice and then after that, I used a gray appointment label to mark that I have a meeting. This is another one of my work chubbies. He's super cute and he's like thinking and he has like a light above his head. So it looks like he's thinking. I hardly ever use him, but when I do, I always just smile whenever that day comes up in my plans. So again, I shifted everything down because I had some room to add some washi at the top. And I'm just adding this, like a splattered design washi tape. Then on Friday, I'm starting off with this little label icon and using one of my workday icons. It's a phone call, I don't know, in like a speech bubble. And I'm putting down that I am in charge of transfers at work that day, just keeping track of everything that I have to do. I'm looking through my stickers here trying to decide what to do. I haven't bought anything new in a really long time and I think that I need to because I, everything seems to be getting a little bit repetitive. So if you guys have any amazing digital shops that you just love and you think I should check out, please comment down below. Um, or if you're like another digital shop owner, I'd love to do some sort of like swap with you. So reach out and let me know what you've got and I'd love, love, love to do that. I definitely need to update my sticker book. 
So I wound up picking out a chubby that was like working out. He's got a weight and he's sweating, but it doesn't exactly go with what I marked, but it's the best that we've got. So I have a chiropractor appointment and I just kind of marked that workout one. I thought it kind of made sense, maybe a little bit because my back's been hurting because of different physical activities I've been doing. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? And then on Saturday, I don't currently have anything planned. So I use the like, uh, it's not a full box. It's her bigger than full box. It's like a longer one. And that fit really great into that whole entire day. And then on Sunday, I'm doing what I do every Sunday, and I'm marking down my dinners, and then I'm also putting down a habit tracker. I'm going to mark Instagram this week. I mark Instagram or, like, vlogging every other, like, I, I don't know, which is whatever I'm feeling like marking, but this week I was marking Instagram. If you guys don't know, I do have a vlog channel, so I'd recommend checking it out if you're interested in what I do day to day. We vlog my husband and I and just everything that's going on, and we're actually in the process of selling our house and moving, so we have a really, like, a lot of really awesome vlogs coming up, so if you're into that sort of thing, definitely check it out. I'll have it linked down below. So now I'm writing in my dinners for the week and just kind of marking everything that we've got going on. And the last thing I need to do is the thing I do every single week and is I mark my moods down here in the bottom left. And then on the right, I usually throw some deco. So the mood tracker is from my shop. It's one of my staple items and I think that it's in, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in my bullet journal. I have like a bullet journal bundle kit and you can get a whole bunch of stickers for pretty cheap. It's a good deal rather than buying them individually. So if you're into like bullet journal sty style of journaling or of planning, definitely check that out. I have like a mood tracker and a habit tracker and a couple of different things. That's one of my best selling things in my shop. So I really like that. Like I said, I'm trying to do a little bit of a deco spread here, so I'm just cropping everything out with the freehand crop tool and trying to make it fit. And then basically, guys, we are done with this spread. I am so excited to be using Sabina Lee's designs again. I love all of her stuff. I have a PR code for her down in my shop. I mean, sorry, down in the description for her shop. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, definitely use that code and check her out. All of her stuff is printable and it can be used on digital planners. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.